Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ballet Rain. This video has been very highly requested by all of you since like November, November <laughs> of last year. So of course, we are in the box today to cover the latest ballet event, which is the one, the only Prix de Lausanne competition. Woo! There were so many beautiful performances in this year's Prix de Lausanne and you guys really wanted a commentary. Our commentary. <laughs> There's a lot of commentary in Prix de Lausanne as it is, but you guys wanted our commentary. So here you go. Your wish is our command. Consider it done. We are in the box today to give you our official commentary on the nine prize winners <laughs> on this year's Prix de Lausanne 2024. We are always excited about these big global ballet events because it really helps us to knit our communities together and to celebrate the arts. And to celebrate also the rising stars and yeah. the future of dance. So if you are ready to watch some ballet with us, then make sure you press the like button and let's get going. If you are not familiar with Prix de Lausanne, Prix de Lausanne is kind of the grand world Olympics of the ballet world, right. but for young dancers, like age 15 to 18. It's basically a big competition. They select all these beautiful young dancers to compete and they give out scholarships and sometimes even apprenticeships for all these young dancers to help further their career and give them opportunities that they wouldn't have access to otherwise. And we, as the audience, get to see some amazing top-notch ballerinas and dancers in the making. Mm -hmm. And it's really cool because then you can follow their career, see yeah. who to watch, exactly. who's rising in the ballet world. It's really cool. The jury for these competition changes every year, <laughs> but this year was special because the president of the judging panel was the one and only the lovely Dame Darcy Bustle. We absolutely love her. To us, she's Queen Darcy Bustle, <laughs> but that's besides the point. <laughs> All of the judges are actually former Prix de Lausanne prize winners. Oh yes, that's, good. that's so, a good point. It means they've competed in Prix de Lausanne in the past mm -hmm. and they've won prizes. Yes. And so they get to come back and they get to judge the next generation, which is very cool. It adds to the legacy of the competition. So this year there were 425 dancers who applied to participate in this year's competition. Mm -hmm. And out of the 425, there were 88 that were selected to actually participate. It's pretty selective. They mm -hmm. usually have a pretty intensive screening process. There's only so many spots available. And out of the 88, 86 actually participated. Freedom Lausanne is actually, it's quite a bit more than just a formal ballet competition. Mm -hmm. The dancers get to attend master classes led by some of the most notable dancers on the globe. In addition to the master classes, each of the dancers get their very own one-on-one -on -one coaching session with one of the members of artistic staff with Freedom Lausanne, which is a very, very special experience and it really shows that Freedom Lausanne takes care to give the dancers the best chance and the best experience that they can have with this competition. Mm -hmm. It's nice because also the judging panel gets to watch the dancers in class. So they can see a bigger picture of what the dancers like yeah. as a whole package and not it's just what Just they the look. variation. Yeah. For 20 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's very nice that we get a whole week to get, you know, acquainted with the dancers. And Before individual. the actual solos. Exactly. Happen. Then you have a bigger picture of who you're judging. Exactly. Rather than just basing it off a of first impression. <laughs> Anyways, all that to say, Prix de Lausanne is more than a competition. It's a big experience for the dancers. And it's a huge opportunity and it's an honor to be there. And each one of them presented their choice of a classical variation and also a contemporary solo. And then after all of that, the judges had a very difficult task of narrowing down 86 dancers to only 20 finalists. I, I could not have been on the judging panel. Nah, that's too hard. But at the end of the day, we did get down to 20 finalists for the final round. During the finals, the dancers get to take class in front of a live audience, which takes a considerable amount of composure. And then after that, they have to basically repeat their contemporary solo and their classical variation a second time for the finals, which mm -hmm. takes a considerable amount of composure. Composure. So after the final round, 20 dancers got further narrowed down to nine prize winners. And there were a few other awards that mm -hmm. were given as well in mm -hmm. addition to that. But there were nine final prize winners at the end of Prix de Lausanne. And those are the dancers we're going to be reviewing today. We're going to be watching through the nine prize winners classical variations. No contemporary today. Sorry for the sake of time in the video. So we're going to be watching them and sharing with you our thoughts, our opinions on these performances, what we love about each dancer, etc, etc. So hopefully you're excited. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, 
here we go. So Prita Design doesn't actually do like a first place, second place, third place situation. Top they kind of have like a top nine, but number one is like the gold medalist. It is technically a placement, but it's like, they, they don't, don't really they don't call it a place. They just say nine. Yeah. Seven. <laughs> scholarship number nine, scholarship yeah. number eight, seven, et cetera. Exactly. We're starting with number nine, working our way up or down. <laughs> <laughs> Depends. <laughs> this is number 207. Taichi Toshida, he's 15 years old from Japan, and he is going to be doing Colas variation from La Female Garde. This one's one of my favorites. I love this variation. So I'm excited to see it. He looks so happy. He's like, yeah! yeah! He's so hyped! You I got this, it. Taichi! I'm hyped for him now. I know, me too. Beautiful. Nice. I always admire people who can predict when to take off in the middle of a silence. Beautiful lines. Mm -hmm. That was nice. A lot of nice control. I like how he does this passage. This is very nice. I like his use of expression. That maybe. too. It's a very exuberant portrayal of the character. Yeah, very, very um, lively portrayal of the character. Beautiful camera as well. <laughs> I love that part. It makes me smile. Whoa! <laughs> Beautiful, wow. I like that. Very nice. He genuinely looks so happy though. He looks so happy to be here. Yes! Wow. Very beautiful. That was so good. That was lovely. Excellent work, sir. Well done. Beautifully done. He looks very proud of himself. Yeah, he looks he looks happy with himself. He looks very pleased with yes. that performance. He, he should, should be. be. Yes. He definitely should be. I will say, when I watched his selections performance of the same variation, yeah. he really had to work to pull that last passage together. It was a close was... one in the uh, selections mm -hmm. round, but this one, he absolutely, he absolutely knocked it out of the park. Flawless. Yeah. Beautiful. You can see on his face how pleased he was to to like have redeemed that final passage. Oh my it was, god. It was, um, I, I almost felt it for him. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm proud. I'm I, proud of him. He was very musical throughout this whole thing, mm -hmm. I think. Musicality. The musicality is, is, I mean, for us, obviously, if you've been around at any amount of time, you'll know <laughs> that musicality is very, 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 very important for us. And also stage presence. Mm -hmm. The moment he stepped on the stage, he made sure that he had your attention right yes. from the beginning, and he made sure to keep it the entire time. There are a lot of beautiful moments here. All of those beautiful uh, Born in Village Mm -hmm. making that beautiful connection with the audience. No, that was very, very, very good. So excellent work, Ta excellent Taichi job. Toshida. And we want to congratulate him on his successful performance and on winning the ninth scholarship sponsored by Foundation Demetian. Beautiful work, very proud of you. If you're watching this, <laughs> we're so proud of you. Good job. <laughs> Next up, number 302, Natalie Steele, 17 years old from the United States. And her variation that she performed was the Aurora variation for Act 3 from The Sleeping Beauty. A classic choice. Can't go wrong with Tchaikovsky. Always. She's so beautiful. Oh my god. She looks very poised, very collected. Yeah. Beautiful. Costumes, 10 out of 10. <sighs> She looks very regal. I like how she did her hair as well. Yeah, extra points for the hair. Very controlled and clean. Right away, she captured the perfect essence of Princess Aurora. Exactly, yeah. A very stately, youthful, very majestic, but in a very sweet way. Yeah. And it's understated. It's not too flashy. Mm -hmm. For Aurora, you don't want to be too flashy. I love it. It's so clean. It's very clean. Her technique is, and her lines are mm -hmm. very, very precise, very classically pure. I like her resistance when she lands from those seas. Yeah, it doesn't very look heavy. Beautiful. It looks very professional. Very musical. 
Yes. Love it. Got it right on the pizzicato. And I love how she plays with her eyes. Yes. Oh, so beautiful. She has so much life. She doesn't make this look dull. And this is the part that usually falls flat for me in this variation. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it when she dances it, though. Yeah. yeah. And that's, means... that's, that's, that's saying a lot. Because <laughs> I normally don't enjoy this part of the variation. She makes it look so gracious. Yes. Like, she's really interacting. Mm-hmm. She's lovely. I really, really enjoy her performance. Yes. She lingers just a li enough, but she's able to catch up to the music and still be on time. Beautiful. Beautifully done. And it doesn't look like she's getting tired. This is a difficult passage, but she looks very easy, calm, collected. Oh, Beautiful. lovely. Very, very nice. Beautifully done. Excellent job. I love that. She's really, really a beautiful This dancer. is probably the prettiest Aurora variation I've ever seen. That's especially really from a young dancer. She yes, especially. She had a very nice, mature approach to the role. Very, very nuanced. Mm. It was very tasteful as well. It was tasteful. That's the thing. It was the essence of classical ballet. It truly was. And I really, I really appreciated the the thought she put behind each of the steps and the way she presented the character. Mm -hmm. I would have loved to see her perform this role in a full length ballet. Yeah. I really would. This final menage, I was very impressed. You can see her eyes lock, and that's how she makes that perfect écarté every time. It was just technically like pure. Everything where it needed to be, just, just, just perfect. Just exactly so satisfying. what it needed to be. No more, no less. Congratulations to Natalie Steele for winning the eighth scholarship sponsored by Foundation Maurice Béjart. She really has a lot of promise, and mm. she's honestly such a beautiful artist. Now the seventh place is number four seventeen. Julian Fidel Mallard, eighteen years old from France. He's going to be doing the Paquita male variation from the Grand Pas de Deux. Mm -hmm. He looks very focused. Mm -hmm. You can oh, tell he's good. getting in character. Yep. The nobility just yes. channeled it. Beautiful. Oh! The, the head! Wow! Well, that's, that's how you capture an audience. This is a, this is like a famous quote from I don't know who, but you only get one chance at a first impression, and he brought it. He brought really it. I need to see it. that again. That was I know, gorgeous. seriously, that was really good. I said we wouldn't stop for these, but but that that didn't have to stop. Oh, so good. Beautiful. Wow, oh, very nice. That's a very good character for this role. Let's see these pirouettes. Beautiful 90 degree passe. Yes, this 90 degree passe is very nice. Let's see the other one. This nice. one, very nice. Right off his axis, that's perfect. Let's see this passage. Lovely. Lovely musicality on the music. Land. Not easy because it is speeding up a little bit, but he's keeping up great. Gorgeous. Very clean. Oh! Beautiful. Very clean. Wow. I love his demeanor throughout this whole thing. Like, you could see him, like, you could almost picture him on the Marinsky stages, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. It's very princely. He and dances I like, like a prince. And it has the, the, the pride and, like, the weight of royalty to it, but it's not pompous yeah. or anything like that. It was very, it was very tasteful. I liked that the switch leap where yes. he, like, was oh, going this way and goodness. whack. That, that caught was, me off guard. I did not expect that. It's not expected to make it a full split. For mm -hmm. that one, but it was lovely. It was gorgeous. He did it. He had those like impactful moments in the variation. Yes, which is really really good, especially when you're trying to really perform and really mm -hmm. bring everything that you have. Yeah, those little moments of just like additional impact. Additional. It's impact. what's gonna make you stand out from everybody else. Exactly, because people in general, we want to be surprised and to be you know awestruck about something. So when you add even just like a little head flick, like he the, the hair flip, <laughs> I'm telling you, it means so much more than what you might think. Very. Well done, Julian. Congratulations on winning the Odd Jepson Scholarship. Very we're proud very of you. proud of you. Still awestruck by 
entire entrance. A beautiful, beautiful performance. Yeah, first impression. I, like I was already sold. Like the moment he came on, I was like, I was give like, the man a scholarship. <laughs> he has to go far. He has to go places. Mm -hmm. The next dancer, number four eleven, Jensen Blight age 17 from Australia, and he's doing the variation from The Talisman. Take it away, Take Jensen. It away. Ooh. I like this. Drawing the audience in right away. Love it. Exuberant lap around the stage. Nice. Wow! Very musical. Oh. Nice. Lovely twist. Saved it. Good save. Very good. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's really lovely. Beautiful lines. Love, I love that too. That's cool. Nice. nice. Very, very nice. That's a difficult end pose. Very, very <laughs> difficult finish but he did it but he, he went did. for it that's really really beautiful i am thankful that the girls don't have to do anything like that honestly no i might actually break my back <laughs> doing what <laughs> all the men have to do the i know big the whack. big whack like solar whack. i know talisman whack ali hit the floor whack <laughs> i know i feel like i'm stunned he like throughout the variation i forgot that he was that young mm -hmm. like, i felt like it was a professional dancer like yeah. a mature dancer he had some really really beautiful moments lines the gems yeah. the air time mm -hmm. also expression presentation wise yeah very professional and he sold the show all the way to the end and i actually really like that he for the first passage he put the accent on the up right. rather than the landing it really really showed off the height of the jump, right. which was actually very captivating for me. Yeah, you're right. And this... And you know, this one here. Yeah. Everything was on the up, and so it seemed to make him fly that much higher. Especially because he had such beautiful ballon to begin with, yes. and he could pull that off. Yeah. I think it was very beautifully executed. Congratulations, Jensen, for winning the sixth scholarship sponsored by Borsa. Borsa Stars. That was a really beautiful performance. Truly wonderful. It was great. Exquisite. 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 The next dancer is number 315, Eri Kobayashi, 18 years old, from Japan. And she's doing our favorite favorite Raymond the variation. <laughs> you know this from our tier list video where we ranked all the female variations. This one's exquisite. 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 We're very excited to see her performance. Costume uh, automatically. <laughs> a plus for the costume, A plus for the headpiece, and also A plus for her entrance. Yes. Oh, she's uh, so beautiful. She looks like a dream. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Wow. You guys, this is artistic beauty. The whole package, the whole truly. Package. Well, we haven't seen her dance yet, but already presentation is. She's so ethereal. such a difficult variation. This is a very hard variation. These slow controlled rolling down through the shoe. Yes. Very difficult. She has a lovely arabesque line too. I love how lengthened it is. Like you can tell she's really reaching forward on all her arabesques, which is lovely. Wonderful work on a difficult passage. That's a very hard Oh, choreographic change, all right. Interesting. Usually we have a separate passage and we do the romber scenes a bit later. Yes. Also a different um, intro to this particular passage. We don't normally do it in the semicircle, but I love the I, two she's selling it for me. The tutu is beautiful, wow. And I love that this tutu is so sparkly and so gorgeous, especially when you're doing run versets. Wow. 
Wow. She's keeping the dreamy look the entire time. Yeah. a new passage too yes but wow. I, I am loving that how she executes these attitude turns it looks very dreamy the resistance is just incredible uh, truly so dreamy truly beautiful and these are all very difficult steps Oh, that smile is so sweet. She's such love a it. lovely, lovely dancer. I love her use of point rod, the resistance she has in her movements. Lovely. Beautiful performance. Wow. Aww. Wow. I'm so <sighs> awestruck. That was, that was breathtaking. And a beautiful, gracious. Oh, wow. she stayed in character throughout the whole thing. She so didn't break lovely. the spell. She kept you completely drawn in. Awestruck. I, I feel like I was so ineloquent during that whole like commentary. <laughs> From the very beginning, even before she entered the stage, we got to see her in the wing. She was already fully there, fully exactly. present. And then she walks on with this. With with the whole, this, oh, oh, my oh my goodness. Oh my. Her lines were lovely, very strong. She was very stable. She took a very, very professional approach, mm -hmm. a professional performance it of a thoughtful. difficult, difficult variation. Yeah, and especially under all that pressure, I you know, know right? being a finalist. I want to highlight those attitude turns. Going into it, she had such a resistance. It's resistance and it Yeah, it just, it just goes like this. Yeah. So Irie, congrats, congrats on scholarship congrats. number five. Sponsored by Foundation Cormendel. You left us breathless. That for was real. beautiful. It was really, really for lovely. Real. Our next one, number 106, Crystal Huang, 15 years old from the United States. She's doing the Golnair variation from La Corsair, yes. a lovely variation. We saw a lot of Golnair variation mm -hmm. this Prix de Lausanne. Let's see. Game face on. Yeah. <laughs> this is like the most crucial moment. Beautiful. I like her costume. It looks like the Marinsky. It does look very Marinsky. I feel like the tutu circumferences this year are huge. And they look lovely. I'm all for wide tutus, honestly. Already, right away, I'm Ooh. noticing her lightness. She's very light on her feet. She's only 15, I can't believe it. Very musical, too. Mm -hmm. Beautiful resistance there. That was lovely. The articulation, too. Wow. I love how quick her feet are and how smooth her port de bras and her apomal is. Mm -hmm. That kind of articulation is really, really, truly amazing. Wow, girly! Okay, that that warrants a pause. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that needs to replay. That was excellent. One, One two, two, three, four. four. Oh, and, and she's and the sail. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Beautiful. She seems a lot more in control. Yes, this round she did. It, she really brought it. Mm-hmm. All of those little pictures on the music. Beautiful. Oh, she could you can tell she's very happy. Yes, she should be. Absolutely. Oh, lovely. lovely. Beautifully done, Crystal. Seriously. Wow. Wonderful. The lightness. Yeah. Really stood out to me. Yeah. It looked so effortless. You need a lot of articulation in yeah. your feet. You need articulate yeah. footwork for this uh -huh. variation specifically. Definitely. To match all the harp stuff that's going on. Yes. The pirouettes were, okay, next level. Okay, fabulous. Wow. Yes, because it was even better than the selections. She did really good in the selections, but she really brought it for the final. She it, was like, I am taking an award home. Yeah. There was like a <laughs> next level of stability. Every pirouette position was locked. Yeah. Stable. Yeah, like, for sure. She brought it. And I love how music 
Yes. She was. Even on that final diagonal with the turns, mm -hmm. all of this was on account. Yeah. It was so intuitive. Yeah. I loved I loved that. I mean, it's so fulfilling and mm -hmm. satisfying to watch. Mm -hmm. So congratulations to Crystal Huang for winning the fourth scholarship sponsored by the Oak Foundation. She also won an additional award, the Contemporary Dance Award yes. for her contemporary piece, but um, obviously we're not covering that in today's video. But she did win those two yes. awards, which is definitely something to note. Clearly she's a very uh, versatile dancer. Not only is she a star in the classical realm, but she's also very good in Temporary. Next dancer is number 317, Paloma Livelara Vidar, 18 years old and from Argentina. Wow! She's going to be doing Gamzati variation from La Baya Dare. The suspense. Oh! oh! That was powerful. Oh, lovely airtime. Wow. Oh, I love I it. I like that look at the, yeah, yeah, the little, yeah, a bit of a glower at the audience. That was lovely. Ah! Beautiful yeah. resistance with the portable. Uh, I love how her arms really come from her back. Mm -hmm. It adds a, a, a certain strength and beauty and sort of cohesiveness to the arms positions. Beautifully done. Lovely. The extension, she held, she holds each note in her dancing. Very musical. Dun, dun, two, dun, dun, three. Dun, dun. Yeah. Uh, the expansion. She, it comes from her back. Yeah. They're like wings. Beautiful. Show off your amazing soda shot. Beautiful. I love this passage. I love this variation in general. Beautiful. Very, very, very beautiful. beautifully done. Wow. So pretty. Oh, lovely. Her expressiveness is yeah. matchless. She looks so happy. In a very regal sort of way. And the way she uses her arms from oh her back, it gosh. has an additional regal presence. It was yeah. so velvety. It was, it was so velvety. Like... That was the word. That first impression, though, I'm telling you, <laughs> if you can captivate the audience on that first entrance, they will be already rooting for you and like already wanting to favor you for yeah. the rest of the show. Yeah. Not only that, but she followed through. For Every sure. other opportunity she got, she would look at the audience. That little devil pay she did, it was like, I love. Look that. at me. Watch me. I'm about to do this. It was charismatic. It was charismatic. Yeah, she played with the audience a lot, and I love that about her performance. And it works for this very yes, for, for Gamzati sure. especially because she's, a, she's yeah. a much more showy character. Yeah, she's there to put on a show. She's yeah. there to have everybody yeah. admire yeah. her and everything. So she did this really, really well. Paloma actually won three awards. Three. Um, so she won the third scholarship sponsored by Borch Jun et. Wow. She also was awarded the Beaulieu Award and also the Audience Favorite Award. Yes. So what's fun about Prix de Lausanne is we have an award that I think it's crowdfunded. Yeah, they have two crowdfunded awards. Mm -hmm. They have the Audience Favorite and they also have the Online Audience Favorite. Yes, so the audience gets to vote yeah. which finalist they loved the best. Yes. And the finalist with the most votes gets the Audience Favorite Award. The audience obviously loved her performance because she catered to the audience she so well. She did cater too. to the audience very, very much. Yeah. Yeah. She looked at them. She made sure they were having a good time. They, yes. She made sure they were invested and she absolutely sold the show. Congrats. Congrats. Truly really beautiful. Really, really, really good. Next up, number 415, Martino Lima Santos. Years 17 old. years old from Portugal. And he's doing a Lee variation. One of my favorites. Yay. In case you didn't know, from Le Corsair. I absolutely adore this yes. variation. What, running start. Whoa. Beautiful. I love so square. I love the, the attitude resistance. Line. Oh, <sighs> in his arms. Yes. The... Beautiful. Wow. Which is very nice for Ali as well. Yes, for sure. Let's see these pirouettes. He knows when to make it a hit yeah. and when to make it a pull. Yeah. He knows. He's very intuitive. intuitive. Wow. Beautiful. Okay. Very nice. Beautiful. 
beautiful. I like his menage. The menage is very nice. Yeah. Wow. Lovely wow. job. Wow. Wow. He looks very happy. Yeah. He should he be. He should be. He, that start when gorgeous. he just comes charging yeah, like, in. Da, 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 and they're like, oh my goodness. And then the end. Mm -hmm. Bam, bam. Yeah. Like, oh my goodness. So, so strong. Yeah. I love his menage because it had such an explosion. Every yes. jeté. It was had explosive. like a certain amount of expansion to yes. it. It wasn't just like a do the menage. It wasn't within language. himself. It was yeah. like poof, every yeah. single time. The Beautiful. breath and the expansion coming from the back is another level. And it's rare to find in a young male dancer. Yeah, they're still maturing. Yeah, you know, still... it takes time. But Martino, that was that was really that was really fabulous. Lovely. When he ended those pirouettes with the lowering down slowly, just like thank you everybody for watching my pirouettes. I'm gonna go do a menage. Ah! Okay. So, so good. Lovely. The whole thing works so well for Ali as well. Yeah. Character wise. Yeah. Because it has a certain level of showmanship, but also it's it's humble. Yeah, like there's that reverence. That the sort reverence. Of like, and it's like, yeah. oh, it's it's for you. For your enjoyment. It's quiet, but it's huge at the same mm -hmm. time. He got into the, the Ali mindset. He really did. He, he, <laughs> the he state adopted of mind. the entire state of mind. <laughs> very, very well done. Martino Lima Santos, well deserved second scholarship. He won the scholarship, the second scholarship, sponsored by the Karis Foundation, and he also won the Contemporary Award as well. Beautiful young dancer. Would love to see him do this in a full length. All the best in your future career. Seriously. Congratulations. All right, and now we're going into first place. Basically the winner of Prix de Lausanne, period. He won Prix de Lausanne. He won Prix de Lausanne this year. Yes. Um, number 201, Joao Pedro dos Santos Silva, age 15. 15! From, from Brazil. And he did the Harlequinade variation. Yes. Harlequinade, which is a very, very fun variation, but not a lot of people can pull it off because yeah. it is a very nuanced characterized role. You need to essentially play up the puppetness. Yeah, so if you can't play up the puppetness, it, it falls flat in a lot of times. We'll see how he... We'll see how he holds up to this role. All right, you got this. He looks very calm. Mm-hmm. Collected. Mm-hmm. The costume is immaculate. I love it. Very musical. And very clean. Look at these double tours. And yeah. I love the change in expression here. Yeah. Oh, that was charming. <laughs> oh, here I go. Let's see these turns. Nice. Nice. Very. Oh. oh. That warrants a pause. That warrants a pause. Look at him. Just like you know what. Oh, yeah, it was so perfect for this role, too, because he's like, oh, oops, did you see that? <laughs> it was so precious. I loved it. I loved it. I love this passage with the cabriole, cabriole, and yeah. the assembly. I love it. Okay. I love it. Beautiful, wow. Lovely air tire. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> oh, the little kiss. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Yay! That was beautiful. That, that, that was a memorable performance. Wow. And he bows like a pro. Yep. Oh, and he stays in character. Wow. So charming. Wow. I felt happy watching his performance of Harakanad. There was so much in there. Mm -hmm. The way he kept changing expression. Mm -hmm. And it was like he was living a whole day in like 60 seconds. You see long. that like emotional journey a the little bit. The emotional journey, 100%. It was all there and it really 
kept you engaged and yeah. like watching the whole time. Not to mention he had beautiful lines. Beautiful lines, beautiful ballon, mm-hmm. timing, musicality. I loved how clean everything was, especially after he does the tours yeah. in the opening step. That little, I don't know what to call it, that jump. It was very articulate. It's hard to be articulate when you're suspended in the air. It, <laughs> you know. Very little friction up there. <laughs> and I like so this cute. where he does this little peeking. He's like, yeah, and it really played up the, the cartoonishness. It's a very cartoonish role, very animated role. He was an absolutely beautiful dancer, and also, yeah. he was fun to watch. Ballet, yes, there is a side of it that's very serious, very thought-provoking, yeah. emotional art form, but at the yeah. same time, there are some pieces where it's okay to be fun, Yeah, to be to make the audience kind of giggle, yeah. and just have them, you know, smiling in their seats, and that's what he did. He showed that side of the art with the yeah. variation that he chose. It worked yeah. 100%, and he really used it to his advantage. Uh, I really loved it. It was, I don't want to use the word adorable, but like I have to. Use it it is adorable. It was adorable. Objectively, objectively adorable. adorable. Yeah. Joel Pedro dos Santos Silva. Very, very strong, promising start. You have a very big future ahead of you. He of course won the first scholarship and the gold medal mm-hmm. of Frida Lazan, and he also was awarded the online slash web audience favorite for, for obvious <laughs> reasons. I would have voted him most enjoyable as well. Mm-hmm. I absolutely adored this performance. Well deserved. Well. Deserved. Well deserved well applause. Well, Pedro, well. Pedro, we loved this performance. We are wishing you nothing but the best in your ballet future. We have one more dancer that we wanted to talk about today. That um, we think deserves a little bit of recognition. The Ballet Rain Recognition Award, <laughs> if you would. <laughs> While we were watching the Prina Lausanne live stream, yeah. we saw we had one dancer. Mm-hmm. I we I pointed it out to you as well. Yeah. You know, when we were looking at her, she really caught our eye throughout not only just her variation, but also through the classes as well. Yes. And in the comments of the live streams as well, we had a lot of different people commenting, you know, we love number her. 306, number yeah. 306 is beautiful. <laughs> she must be a finalist. She's yeah. so gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Um, and she didn't make finals. Our job was on the floor. Yeah, we, we were shocked. Um, so we're gonna take a moment to give her some recognition because we adored her performance yes. and we think she should have made it to finals but that's just our subjective opinion subjective. but <laughs> consider this the Ballet Rain Award consider this the Ballet Rain <laughs> you get to be on our channel <laughs> congratulations and the dancer we're featuring is number 306 Rei Fukuyama she is 17 years old from Japan for this competition she did the Dulcinea variation from Don Quixote we think she should have gone finals but we think so Beautiful. What we love about this performance is just how clean everything is. Watch this arabesque. So clean. Very clean. And so peaceful too. Which is perfect for Dulcinea because she is a dream. She mm-hmm. is an idealized fictional character as we talked about in our Don Quixote analysis. And I love so how she plays beautiful. with her eyes here. You yes. can imagine like Don Quixote is standing right there and she's dancing for his yeah. amusement, for his enjoyment, you know. Oh, so lovely. Nothing looks labored to her. Yes. She has such solid technique, such a beautiful, beautiful presence. If you look just from the tutu up, it looks like she's just floating. I know, look at- It's very hard to make it look that easy. Roll down <gasps> through that shoe and catches up to the music. So musical, look at this. I don't understand why she didn't make finals. I fail to understand. Watch these sea songs. Solid, arabesque, beautiful. Right on the music, and she doesn't waver either. That was nice. It was very generous yeah. here for you. And let me go now. It was so pretty. Very musical. I love a musical menage. Oh, lovely. It was oh. beautiful. I don't know why she didn't make finals. I fail to understand. Justice. I just don't get it. 
But she Ray, was, if if you're watching, that was absolutely exquisite. Absolutely stunning. We absolutely adored this performance. I love how her arms are so clean. All her position is exactly where it needs to be. Yeah. A classical fourth position. A classical. Yeah. It's not too much. It's just perfect. It's clean. I, I'm it's all perfect. for pure classical. classical you stuff. guys know this about us, yeah. but the pure classical technique yeah. is just beauty consistent it's, musicality yeah. consistently beautiful transitions uh -huh, uh -huh. consistently beautiful artistry exactly. she never made you worry mm -hmm. during her performance yeah she really made it enjoyable and like easy to watch i think she was a very good artist as well mm -hmm. i love the way she used her eyes and her expression and she almost painted the whole scene yeah with the court of ballet and don quixote and the fairies and everything like she made the whole dream scene by herself totally. in the middle of an empty stage beautifully done right um, congratulations <laughs> for the Valley Rain, for the Valley Rain, Rain for, recognition. For what it's worth, okay? We, we we thought your performance was incredible. Yes, we, we loved really it. loved it. We, we loved really it. loved you. There you have it, everybody. That was our commentary, our thoughts about the Prix de Lausanne winners of 2024. A huge congratulations to all of the participants, all the dancers, whether they went home with awards or not. We absolutely loved all of the performances, mm -hmm. their work that they put into their variations and also yeah. their classwork. Honestly, even though they might not ha have brought an award home, their work speaks for itself. I Watching guess. them in class, you can clearly tell, even if they didn't receive an award per se. Exactly. Exactly. You can see that the, so much work is put in and it, it paid off because For it sure. resulted in a beautiful, well-rounded dancers that are gonna really carry the art in the next generation. Of course, congratulations to all of the winners of this year's Prix de Lausanne. We're so, so proud of each and every one of them. And we're really, really proud to have them carry the future of ballet and like the future generation of ballet on their shoulders. Mm -hmm. So all the best to you and your future endeavors in ballet and we're rooting for you. And if you guys want to support the dancers, please check out the Prix de Lausanne website. In about a month from now, they're going to be posting exactly where these dancers decided to go in terms of what companies they joined, what plans they have to further their dance careers. Yes. So make sure you stay tuned for all of that. You can go to the Prita Lausanne's website. We'll put the link in the description box so you can go and stay up to date with the journey of these beautiful young dancers. Support the rising ballet dancers. Support them in their journey because yes. the ballet career is a very difficult one. It is. I know all dancers around the world would appreciate your support and your yeah. good vibes and good Good ballet nerd vibes. Good ballet nerd vibes. You know. <laughs> One thing we, that we really wanted to point out from this year's Prix de Lausanne is a wonderful speech from Darcy Bustle Absolutely. given to the candidates at the award ceremony. She gave a really good outlook on the mindset we should have going into the competition or otherwise. It really aligned with our sentiments regarding yeah, competition for as sure. well. The way she said it was so, so good. We'll just pass the mic off to Darcy because um, what she said was truly immaculate and we would encourage all the young dancers to listen to her. So take it away, Darcy. <laughs> to our wonderful candidates, I would love to remind you, first and foremost, you are an artist. The social media showreels of moves and extreme poses are not true reflection of our emotional provoking art. Focus. <laughs> Please, please focus on how your expressive moves will contribute to the storytelling ability of dance. You are unique and you have a story to tell with each and every move you make. Be proud of your training and the discipline it gives you. It will take you far. Be confident in the knowledge that you are entering an important career, contributing deeply to society. Your passion, your tenacity will keep the beauty of ballet alive for decades. So those were the beautiful words of Darcy Bustle herself. We hope that her sentiments will be remembered for years and years to come. Please tap the like button for all the amazing dancers who competed in this year's Prix de Lausanne. Also share this video to spread the ballet nerd love and to support the young rising stars of tomorrow. And make sure again to check out Prix de Lausanne's website to support the dancers and to follow their journeys as they embark on their future careers in ballet. If you like these ballet 
Ballet Rain news coverage, kind of ballet event recaps. <laughs> Let us know. Maybe we'll do another one for Prix de next year. Maybe even YGP. YGP is coming. If you're into that, let us know in the comments yes. and we'll look into it. We'll try to make it happen for you. Anyway, I think that is all from us for now. This is Ballet Rain signing off. Until the next video. <laughs> Bye.